outraged shoppers have lodged complaints about a shopping centre advertisement claiming that this ad encourages domestic violence by sexualising the act of choking. A number of women's welfare and anti-pornography groups have recently raised concerns online regarding Honey Burdett's latest ad campaign. However, some disagree, saying the shop makes them feel sexy and confident in their products. We're joined today by Movement Director of Collective Shout, Melinda Tackett-Reist. Melinda, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Um, talk us Thanks through the main issue that you have with this advertising from this particular company. Well, Honey Burdett has a long history of pornified, sexually objectifying portrayals of, of women, and uh, this latest ad campaign eroticizes and normalizes a very violent, sexually aggressive act of, of choking. And that's why we are speaking out against uh, this ad. It's contributing to the, the cultural normalizing of violence against women at a time where we're having a, a national dialogue about this issue, about the epidemic of violence. You can see women being choked, live streamed on a video loop in your local uh, Westfield or other shopping centre. And uh, that's why uh, we've condemned it. Um, surely these ads would have to be approved. Um, there must be ad standards in place. W would this have passed this? There's no pre-approval process for ads like this. Um, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Uh, there's no fines for non-compliance when companies like this uh, don't comply with the advertising code of ethics. The whole system works on complaints. Uh, unfortunately, even if a complaint is upheld by ad standards, it's often weeks later. The ad is already gone and the company has rolled out a new ad. This is a broken system. It's always worked in favour of the vested interest of advertisers, not in favour of the community and particularly children who are imbibing harmful ideas about uh, women and what women are good for from this kind of advertising at a time where more women are reporting uh, men wanting to strangle them, a, at a time when a strangulation trauma centre has been opened in Brisbane for survivors of strangulation within domestic violence, these images are being live streamed in our shopping centres, which are headed by men who love to spout that they are male champions of change who have committed to stamping out sexism. We call hypocrisy on this. You can't call yourself a male champion and act effectively as the landlord propping up this tenant, which continues to violate any ethics around advertising. But, uh, sorry. Sorry, I was just going to say, I, I, I don't particularly like the ad. I, 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 I feel like it's quite confronting. I particularly would not like to see it as I was walking through a shopping centre with my boys. But um, what would you say to uh, critics, particularly people from the BDSM community, who say that this is a kink, this um, is done with consent, that um, people, um, you know, this is part of um, people's kind of um, sexual preference? Do you buy that? Have, Do you have response kink to away. that? Have you, we're not doing anything about your kink. What we're no, saying your kink, is... your kink. You so, like, yes. um, that you're being kink-shamed for, you know, that act. <laughs> the fact is the global research says that objectified, pornified portrayals of women contribute to a diminished view of women's competence, morality and humanity. These ads dehumanise women and contribute to harmful ideas and attitudes which lead to real violence against women. Uh, just because uh, employees and fans of the company uh, all rally around and uh, support this doesn't uh, do away with what the research says, uh, the real harms to women and girls in particular. Uh, this is nothing to do with, you know, taking away whatever they're into. This is saying why is this on public display in the public realm, the public domain mm. that we all inhabit and walk through, uh, which families walk through. Uh, why does it need to be there normalising and eroticising a strangling and choking of women? Yeah, um, uh, the, the owners of Honey Burdett say that they're all about making women feel empowered and well, sexy and beautiful. Well, they make money from that. Oh, yeah, of course they're going to say that. Uh, 
choking women, we don't think, is beautiful and shouldn't be on display in our mainstream shopping centres for everyone to see. There's nothing empowering and beautiful about that. And, Melinda, if people want to get behind this cause and um, use their own voice, how do they do that? How do they support this? Yeah, well, we'd love you to join up to Collective Shower for a World Free of Sexploitation. We've been leading a campaign against these shopping centres for a decade now with no movement. They've done nothing. The CEOs have done nothing. They've chose to enable uh, this damaging and uh, harmful activity. CollectiveShark.org is our website and, of course, we're on, on all of the socials as well. We'd love your support. All right, Melinda, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks for having us.